Okay, this um this EMF topic right is actually very similar to what you learn in sec two, except that we're gonna add on a little bit. Uh, we are gonna add on something for simultaneous, uh, linear inequality. So the sign will also be something that you already learned in fact too. And for operations, right, we also learned that we can add, add and subtract number on both sides. So we can add and subtract numbers on both sides. So there shouldn't be any change in sign. But we do need to reverse the sign if, let's say, we multiply both sides or divide both sides by a negative number. So that one is actually everything in sec two. So example one, two, three is actually based on sec two work. So I will do a quick uh, review, but if you would like a more detailed um, explanation on sec two work, then you will let me know there's another video explanation that's a little bit more detailed on the sec two work. So example one uh, is just adding numbers on both sides. So to start off, right, oh, no, I'm going to subtract numbers on both sides. So subtracting numbers doesn't change, uh, reverse the sign. And I'm going to divide by two so that I can a single act. So when you divide by two, two is a positive number. So I shouldn't reverse the sign. And you want to display this on the number line. Okay, usually I will draw a number line that comprises of three. So maybe here I will draw two, three, four. Greater than three, it will be on the other, uh, greater than three will be an empty circle and it will be the right arrow. So if you need a bit more on this, right, uh, I think you can watch the sec two videos on this. Okay, so minus three x plus two. Okay, I'm going to minus two on both sides. And I must get to one x. So that's what you learn in fact too. When you solve inequality, you always go to one x. So in this case, I'm dividing by a negative number. So that's why I should reverse. I flip around the inequality sign. Make sure you draw your correct number line. Some people, their number line is wrong. So they don't even have a proper number line. Then they start to draw the arrows. So here we are dealing with negative number. Be, be very careful when your number line deal with negative number. So I should be doing a black circle because there's an equal sign like this. So this is very much like back to work. So if you think you need more practice in this, Okay, uh, there's only two practice questions here for you to practice. So there's actually more of this in sec two work. Okay, and then in sec two, right, we also deal with uh, such question, like example three. Okay, they, like three A, they ask for the smallest integer value. Three B, they ask for the biggest integer value. Uh, so sometimes in the sec two work, you also come across like uh, the smallest prime number, the smallest rationale number. So all these are still applicable. Okay, so uh, if you come across very complex uh, inequality, you just do like normal algebra first. So for me, I will just um, expand the left side carefully. I will expand the right side carefully. I'm not going to bring anything over first. Okay, so my aim is to get all the x onto one side. Okay, so here I'm going to do a plus 2 on both sides. So this part will disappear. I'm left with a 13x. Okay, then I'm going to do a plus 3x on both sides. So I will get a 16x and I will get greater than one quarter. Okay, so you will need to draw the number line. Draw a proper number line first. 
and have a few number on the number line. So that will be a one quarter and this will be the number line. So along the number line, you will find the smallest integer. Integer are whole number. So along the number line, which one is the smallest whole number? You can see it here. So therefore, the smallest x is 1. Okay. So it's actually something like fact 2 work. Okay, the next one, we start to have fraction. Okay, so when there is fraction in inequality, I got to caution you on this first. So first of all, please do not cross multiply. So cross multiply doesn't work. Not say it doesn't work. It will work if you know how to be careful. Okay, but I will suggest for you not to cross multiply. So in this case, right, I plus one on both sides. So I should get two nine fraction. Okay, so I show you the correct way first. Then I show you what can go wrong. Okay, the correct way, you look at the denominator. So there are two denominator. So it will be something like five times three. So that is a 15. So what you should do is, you multiply 15 on both sides. So you multiply 15 on both sides. And it actually helps you to cancel. So you multiply 15 on both sides. Okay, and what's the issue, right? Okay, can you see the big mouth is facing x plus two? So you must make sure the big mouth is still facing x plus two. The small mouth is actually facing x plus three. So the small mouth is facing x plus three. Okay, so if let's say, if let's say you cross multiply wrongly. So at this stage, right, some students, they might cross multiply wrongly. Okay, so they might do something like this one. And then they do something like this one. So they end up wrong because if you look carefully, the big mouth right now, the bigger mouth is facing x plus 3. Just now, the bigger mouth should be facing x plus 2. So right now, it is the wrong algebra facing the wrong inequality sign. You will not discover this mistake because you feel like I'm not just doing the correct thing. So the, to play safe, right, we don't want to do a cross multiplication we multiply by the common denominator. So in this case, I continue with my expansion. I continue with the basic thing that I already know. So if you are faster, okay, you can try. Okay, now you are dividing by negative two. So reverse the sign. So usually when uh, the inequality involves negative number, a lot of people will make mistakes. So first of all, sometimes their number line is not even correct. So make sure you draw the correct number line. Make sure you know where is the correct negative number. And here that should be the cor correct number line, the correct arrow. So along the arrow, you will find the greatest integer. So the greatest integer will be a minus five. Okay, so a lot of things can go wrong, even in the basic kind of linear inequality. So if let's say your basic inequality has a lot of mistakes, the subsequent part where you go to the simultaneous uh, linear inequality, it will be very difficult.
Okay, so make sure you are okay with the basic first.